Here's another little series that you can add. And again, I'm going to give you series that are really nice to introduce at a beginner level, partly because it gets a little confusing and a little difficult when you're working with a new apparatus. And also some of the exercises that I'm going to show you in here are really transition exercises that we haven't dealt with in detail in the course. So it's kind of nice to know, but you'll know the principles so you can apply this. So this one is Josh kneeling on the side. Once again, a nice safe way to introduce things. What I've done is I put a moon box beside the Coraline there for Josh to kneel on so that he's, thank you, <laughs> available for infomercials at any time. And what he's going to do is kneel on that so that he's going to be closer aligned for a couple of these exercises. I have the speed bump in and he's got the mat over just to protect his precious knees. Okay, we have one grey on this one. So Josh, you're going to put the first knee on there, so the knee closest to the Coraline, and you're just going to press that leg out. Nice. Just a nice way to open up the hips. If you want, you could have them in a kneeling lunge. So you could have him just with the other leg up and then he does the kneeling lunge, just like you would do on the reformer. I'm sure you'll work that one out. How's that, Josh? Good. Now, what you can do, Josh, is take your bottom down onto your heels. So we can just then press up and press your leg out at the same time. So this is a nice way to help people get better hip placement, okay? Get the femur sitting deeper in the socket. Hip flexion is hard. And I know you keep hearing clients are always sitting, but generally you'll find that they're sitting and their hips only have one range of motion. Not good. How's that feel? Nice. And then he's going to turn around. Remember, you will do both sides, but it's for purposes today, we're just going to do this. Josh is now putting his knee in front of the speed bump and he's just going to press that back out just to bring in some hamstring joy into his life. How's that feel, Josh? Mm -hmm. You can thank me later. Then you can put your toes on the bottom rung and press the heel back and forward. Getting dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Isn't it nice that you can sneak so many things in? Nice, Josh. How's that? Good. Yeah, really. And then you can come off there. And what I'm going to do is get you to take the moon box away and just put the kneeling pad underneath your knees, okay? And you're going to just bring in some upper body now. So, Josh, you can just put one hand on there and the other hand on the disc. And what we're going to do is, first of all, just move the disc hand away. See if you can spiral it, Josh, so you can roll the hand and the fingers going away. Yeah, lovely. And then roll the hand in, bend the elbows. Now remember with the rotator disc, the new balanced body gray plasticky ones come in different weights. So there are ones that have no resistance at all, and that may be the one that you will use first. I tend to like the old timber ones, but you know, I'm a bit old, so old school. How's that feel, Josh? Good. So it's just getting his shoulder moving, getting some nice work, understanding how to get his forearm and his elbow active. Now this time, Josh, keep your hand there, and let's get a nice little deltoid stretch by pressing the inside hand through. Lovely. Yep, and twist the upper hand at the same time. Good. Remember to look over here. Look, look, lift your heart to an optimistic future and look over the elbow. That's it. Good. And back. How delicious is that? You have to give treats every now and again, okay? Good, Josh. 
Is that okay? Yeah. Then what you can do is put both hands on there and just simply take the cart away. That's it. Keep kneeling high. Yeah. And that, so you can work on your obliques. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. Try one more. Try one more. <laughs> if you were wanting to advance your client, what you can do is put them in a plank position to do this. But I give them some time to practice that before you do. Josh, is that okay? And I don't have room, so that's why I'm going to do it today. <laughs> <laughs> so you can put your hand there and put your other hand up on here. This here? Yep, and the other hand goes up and over. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to press that um, this arm forward. That's it. And so we're just adding a, a kind of weird thread the needle, but that's okay. Remember, you want your clients to have enough of an understanding of the exercise. They've done thread the needle on the mat so many times, but you want to give them that little bit of a twist to make them want to go back to the coral line.